if there's one thing I can remember about my dad back when I was just a kid, <laughs> it's that for him. Uh, Looks like I win, kid. Rock, paper, scissors was a way of life. Man, no fair! I only get to eat two of them? In rock, paper, scissors, you're dealt the hand you get, and you deal with the hand you've got. The harsh truth is there's a whole lot in life that isn't fair, but you either continue to press on or it's game over. I couldn't really process what he was trying to say back then, but something about his words stuck in my mind for all these years. It's almost like he predicted the future, as well as what my next hand was going to be. You're certainly leveling up. I presume since you've gotten a better grip on the urgency of this war, you're a bit more open to learning. But as a killer, your hidden potential is a major factor. I hear that word get tossed around a lot here. Oh? So what is a killer? A historical term. One of great significance, mind you. Allow me to explain. In ancient times, there was a single nation that conquered almost the entire land of Konsum. It was known as the Great Empire of Atarika, and its victory seemed all but secure thanks to their overwhelming numbers and military strength. However, their victory never came. But how could an army that big suddenly lose? Well, size isn't everything. But in this case, it was their weakness. To expand their forces, the Empire would gather soldiers of all breeds, but that included the likes of bandits and thugs, whose inexperience brought down the skills of their army as a whole, causing the people to lose faith in their ability. Then, a coup d'etat brought them crashing down, known today as the Atari Shock. Thanks for the history lesson, but you didn't explain what killer means. I wasn't quite done. After the Atari Shock, all of Konsum fell into chaos. Thus, to avoid repeating the mistakes of their predecessors, the surrounding nations limited the size of their military. Instead, they honed the powers of individual soldiers, placing them at the front lines. In other words, quality over quantity. Through this process evolved a race of superhumans with destructive powers, the Killers. Hold up! You're telling me I'm one of these superhumans? You sure hold the qualities of one, and I believe such powers are genetic. Perhaps it runs in your family? My family, huh? Well, I have heard both my parents were pretty tough fighters back in the day. I guess it's possible I got it from them. That's the long and short of it. In the present, an army strength is equal to how many killers are among its ranks. So that makes you an asset. Okay, so basically it's just a really badass fighter. Back then, I didn't fully get what he meant. But in time, Teji Loft's definition of killer would become violently clear. Hmm. Pardon me, Miss Double D's. Oh. 
Gear's on a good track to the next level, so now it's our turn to switch into training mode. Uh, me? Train with this blockhead? Hell no! I'm... I'm perfectly capable of training at my own pace. Thanks. <coughs> oh ho Nicely done. See that? My marksmanship is perfect. Hmm. Well, your marksmanship is... If you have something to say, just say it already. All right. Your marksmanship is nearly perfect, as close as I believe it can be. But when it comes to power, you're a bit lacking. <gasps> if you'll allow me, I can fill that hole in your power with something far tougher than just an arrow. And what's tougher than an arrow? Range tactics. The power of shooting. Shooting? You've never heard of it. My word, the Segwa army's just full of unpopped cherries. <laughs> you see, every killer is born with a specific type of power they can excel with. Your spiky blue friend, for instance, can turn life energy into raw strength, which we call action. Lumsis and I, our ability to transform life energy for different uses is called puzzle. And your power is called shooting. <laughs> Interesting to note, this power was first crafted by the legendary conqueror, E. Vazor. So if you can master it, you'll be able to combine your archery skills with stronger and farther reaching firepower. Don't worry, a strong woman like you can handle it. But I'll gently show you how to do it for your first time. First, concentrate all your power into these three fingers. Keep going. Don't stop until I say so. What is this? Don't give up now. How much longer do I have to do this? I... I can't hold it back anymore! That was a basic shooting technique called shot. And I want you to practice using it for the next four days until it feels natural. Just four days? Easy. I'll be a master. <laughs> it's simple, in theory. You focus, aim, and fire. Now, now, don't rush yourself. You should practice the focusing part by itself. Huh? The challenge will always be there, but I'll master the system. <laughs> Hot hits today. Hot hits on the way. Now there are no limits! In four days, I'll be the greatest shooter ever to hit the land of Consume! Or die trying! My critiques aside, she is a polished marksman. Whatever her background is, I can tell she worked hard to earn these skills. <laughs> no, I'm... exhausted. How did this happen so fast? Well, it's no surprise. You depleted all your stamina with that last attack. If you blow your load on one big shot, how are you supposed to make the fun last all the way through the battle? Uh -huh. Why, I'd say you could only go for about ten shots in a row at best. Quit it! For right now, try practicing going for just one shot at a time. Uh -huh. That's all for now. I'll leave you to keep playing by yourself. Give me a holler when you can move. When I can move, you're dead! Oh, there you are. Hmm? I've been looking everywhere for you, Mr. Tedula. Oh, your gears, little friend. Your name was Nell, I believe. Yup, that's me. Uh, uh, I'm honored you remember me. Gears has been looking all over for you. He said he wants to get back to training right away. How predictable. Rushing as always. No surprise about that. I am surprised you were able to track me down, though. Opal shooting practice requires a rather destructible environment, so I was looking for something more open world. Oh, well, see, I found you so quickly because I thought I heard your voice coming from this direction. My voice? Her tracking senses are very impressive, and from such a long distance, too. I heard when Mark III Village was raided, she managed to survive, even though she was just a child. Perhaps she, too, is a killer, and a very unique kind at that. So, Miss Pointy Ears, tell me, are you interested in fighting together with Kier? No way. Amazing. She made
managed to dodge every single arrow, even at such close range. But how? How did I do this? Because much like deer, you too were born with a gift. There's no doubt about it. You're a killer. <laughs> Tell me, what do you feel right now? Everything. My senses are ever reaching. I can see, hear, feel everything around me, even the slightest breeze of the wind. And this is my power? Indeed. You have the ability to extend all of your senses to the surrounding area, a power called online. In time, your senses will be able to extend even further. But even at your current level, you too could be very useful on the battlefield. But the choice is yours. Are you truly willing to fight in this war? Uh, fight? Well, I... Teal. Gear. I... I will do it! I'll fight alongside you all! So our forces are ready. Good. We'll proceed as planned. Lumsis, be honest with me. Does Gear know the truth? I remember when he first walked through our gate. I certainly had my suspicions. A survivor of the raid on Mark III Village. Born a powerful killer. The pieces fell into place. And then I was sure of it. He is the son of General Alex. And knowing that, you're going to put him through all this? Whatever it takes. The Segwa Kingdom cannot afford to lose another soldier as strong as him. Do you understand? No, I don't. But as long as money is involved, I'll enjoy whatever dirty job you give me. Dirty deeds are what I do. All I ask is, you take care of him. Tomorrow's the big day. I'm so nervous. You don't have to do this, you know. Really. I just want to do my part. No matter the danger, if I can help out, it'll be worth it. And you know, he really respects you. You know what he said to me? Huh? Oh man, she's so cool. And she's so strong too. Not to mention, she's such a sweetheart. <laughs> Give me a break. We're all soldiers of equal value, okay? Then let's all do our best. We can win this. <clears throat> hey, Tajilov? So exactly how many killers exist out there? How many of them? Good question. Who knows, really? Could be hundreds of them. Okay. Could you tell me a bit about the heavy hitters? Let's see. The first that comes to mind is the Emperor of the Nintendo Empire, Marcus. A perfect killer. Then there's Zelik, second only to Marcus, an Inteldo military genius said to be the link to solving any mystery. Next is Princess Crystal of Slovia, one of Nintendo's allied nations. They're said to be of the highest quality in all of Khonsu. Then there's Kicho the Samurai, CEO of the Republic of Havid. And Tafai, the undefeated martial artist of the Ganpu Federation. Finally, there's the man some call the last remaining hero of Khonsu, who even Marcus dares not cross. Miyamoto of the Ariel Republic. They are the ones that you should be aware of. But there are many more that you will encounter on our mission tomorrow. Tatoland's top three killers consist of the giant D. Fisher and the two cursed brothers, Boys and Bys. Bys, the elder of the two brothers, is the strongest of the trio. Tomorrow, we'll likely run into all three of them in battle. If you want to improve, you'll have to take them head on. Yeah, I hear ya. And I'll be ready. Getting to the next level could mean having to leave everything else behind you. Are you up to the challenge? Yeah, let's blast through with sonic speed. Tell me, Spikes, what led you to want to join an army so out of the blue like that? I, I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to be more like my dad or something. And even then, my memories of him are pretty foggy. I must have been about five years old last time I saw him. I mainly just remember seeing him tear ass against all the other soldiers during practice matches. It might just be that seeing him fight left an impression on me to want to fight for my country, too. 
A part of me probably even thought that if I became a soldier, maybe I'd finally find him again, like on the battlefield. But no go. Once in a while, I think. I wonder where he is now. Hell, he might already be dead. Possibly. <laughs> but you might find yourselves crossing paths after all. All right. Our primary objective for this mission is to rescue General Alex of the Segwa Army, who's being held prisoner in an underground cell. While the battalion distracts the enemy towards the front of their stronghold, we shall enter from the back, heading straight towards Alex's prison. We'll be emphasizing stealth over confrontation. So first, Pointy Ears will be using her online ability to seek out and trap enemies. Right! Meanwhile, Opal will snipe from a distance. You got it. And only if necessary, Gear will use his super speed. Yeah. But if anything goes wrong, don't worry your pretty little heads. I'll take care of everything if need be. Then let's get started. Uh, uh, just wait a minute. I hear the voice of an injured Seguan over there. That's odd. A scout, perhaps. <laughs> you three, you're with Seguan Special Forces, aren't you? Have you come to save us? You were right. This is our scout, Nobi. We underestimated those scumbags. Please. Be careful. Their strongest warrior is guarding the rear. The Tato Land Killer! Boys! Talk about bad news. This is where my journey ends. What you for? You're going to pick up where I left off, right? You... You could carry on my will! <laughs> Please! You're all killers, aren't you? Absorb my power! Take it! Take my life! I beg you, all of you, please. What does he mean? He means nothing. <laughs> you fought well, but you're not strong enough. I'm sorry. At the very least, we'll avenge your sacrifice, but that is all we can do for you. <laughs> then I must go to face my fate. Please, I beg you, bring victory to Sequa. There, well. So what did he mean? Of course, Tejilov must have not made this clear to you. <laughs> Do you know why those with powers like us are called killers? It's true that we're born with extraordinary abilities, but we can also grow stronger instantly. By way of a technique. Absorbing. The others. Others what? You mean... by taking their lives. <sighs> we take the lives of others to grow more powerful, just as our title implies. Literally, killers. I... I still don't get it. Why didn't we absorb this scout's life when he offered his willingly? It's a little more complex than you're thinking. Killers have limits to how many lives they can take. You have two slots with which to absorb up to two other corresponding lives. Because of this limitation, it's better to absorb someone only when it will benefit you the most. Benefit like how? Like... if they'll make you stronger? Well now... It seems we've run out of time, eh? Looks like our enemy got tired of waiting. So this is the guy, huh? That's the guy. Tacholand's strongest killer. Known as Bize. Sue me. I was getting bored. But my boredom's about to die like that scout. This guy's the strongest killer in Tacholand? <laughs> I gotta try my luck against him. This'll be major fun and games. Let's do it to it! <laughs> Wait, am I in over my head? Would I even stand a chance against this guy? Good. 
you get an S rank for that mindful hesitation. Being able to better judge your own strength means you're getting smarter. If you had taken him on right now, you would have died. He's too strong for you. Fighting him right here would have cost us two of our precious forces. Two, huh? Think you mean four, pal. Well, we can't turn back now, or the entire mission will have been for nothing. Right you are. So then. I'll take him. Move along. <laughs> oh, really? You take on me? By yourself? That's correct. Thanks so much for taking the time. However, I'm afraid that this is the last level for you. Huh? Complete the mission! <laughs> A barrier block. Nothing gets in, but nothing gets out. So that, as we say, is that. Now is the beginning of a fantastic story. Good luck. Huh? Hmm. Well, that's bad timing for me to be totally starving all of a sudden. Should have brought some cake. <laughs> How goes it thus far, pointy ears? The battalion is keeping them busy, and there weren't nearly as many enemies inside the fortress as we thought. My barrier block will only hold Bai's captive for a good 20 minutes or so, and if he escapes from it, we won't make it through. So I suggest you all follow me. Uh, wait a second. Danger's lurking around every turn. Trust me. I've got this feeling. A big bad one, too. Sounds bad. Sounds like Dee Fisher. So what? Can't you just trap him, too? In your barrier thingy? Nope. That's not an option. Not while it's still activated. We'll have to get a bit riskier. But thankfully, we've got options when it comes to decoys. That's my cue. Decoy ahoy! Not so fast, little boy blue. We need you to ram down the door while the actual decoy draws attention. And besides what should be obvious, you've got bigger fish to fry. I do? You're our new decoy, Opal. Does that sit well with you? All right, if you insist. Take no insults. D. Fisher is far stronger than you. But we just need a distraction, understand? So distract and then withdraw. Well then, let's not waste any more time. Hurry! <laughs> I'll be sure to lure the big fish away from you guys. <laughs> Get it? Anybody? Lure? I got it. Sounds like the little guppies outside are having a good time. Hope somebody gets this far. So I might be able to find a good catch myself. <laughs> Wish granted. <laughs> Squirming around! That particle! Forget being a distraction. I'll harpoon this oversized dork right here and now. This is it. The prison where General Alex is being held. This guy. He's said to be the greatest soldier in all of Segwa. I wonder what he's like. And who he is. <laughs> no. I can't be. My dad.
at what I do. There's got to be another way. Believe it or not, I don't want to kill you. Not looking back. I'll keep on running. To the center of the world.